When I first got my Steadicam, uh, advice at the time that I was given was to film with as wide a lens as possible and stopped down as far as possible. And when gimbals gained popularity, I feel like that advice kind of transitioned over to the gimbals. However, I am kind of a fan of a medium to medium telephoto shot and a little background separation. We don't have to go crazy with background blur, but a little separation is nice. Then I started seeing shots where people were using like the 70 to 200 on a gimbal and I was just really intrigued. I thought the shots were unique compared to a lot of what you're seeing with gimbals. And I would try to do that myself. The cameras I was using at the time was a Blackmagic Pocket 6K, the original, and a Panasonic GX85. I like both of those cameras and I used both on the gimbal from time to time. I never really could master the focus with the gimbal. Uh, you know, if I never changed distance from the subject, it was, it was okay, but moving subjects, that's kind of hard to do. Since I got the R5C, there's a woodpecker. Oh, I see him, he's right there. Oh, can I turn the camera on that? This is worth turning the camera on. So you might be hearing that knocking during the video. Fast forward and I have the Canon R5C, the first camera I've ever used with even a mediocrely fine autofocus. And I decided to try again, not that I really ever stopped trying, but give it another go. Uh, so I set the sensor to Super 35, locked on my 50 millimeter prime and uh, asked my wife if she minded if I bugged her on one of her walks. She was okay with it, so I grabbed the one wheel and practiced tracking her. As a side note, she has since asked me to up my life insurance policy. With Super 35, that 50 millimeter comes out to about an 80 millimeter equivalent on a gimbal, on a one wheel. Might not be the setup you would want to use for every project, uh, but it is interesting and it gets some interesting results and I look forward to experimenting with it more, maybe pushing even further to uh, longer focal lengths and seeing what I can achieve. Talk to you later.